All right, guys. Finally, the train has went by. We're back at West Point uh, for the Rod Benders uh, Homecoming Tournament. This is our first stop. We're just looking for the big ones because it's overcast. It's going to rain. We're going to get wet today. But this little rip wrap right here normally produce some fish. So I'm just running my whopper plopper. You know, that's my favorite thing. I got the black one on right now, but I might switch to the white one. I haven't seen any fish jumping or anything. Uh, it rained pretty good last night. The water stained, but the water 77 degrees, so we should get something going. I'm gonna go down this with the whopper plopper first, then I'm gonna turn around and go back down it with the uh, with a crankbait or rattle trap or something. But right now I'm trying to get the aggressive fish. Trying to stay close to these rocks as possible. What I found out with the wop plop, the closer you to something, the better it is. Number one, a little small one. Don't do it. It is 12 inch lemon on spots here, so I don't know if he's 12, but we'll check him. Yeah, he's 12. Well, that's the first little bit of one for the day. <laughs> But we'll look at it just for a start. All right, last cast and we're gonna move on. Yeah, here. Spray him down with some, some wicked juice. Here's my juice. Here we go. Off of there, I can't go get it because it's a it's a cable going across there. So <laughs> I got it. That was amazing, and guys. I just had a. Fish bite the, uh, there you go. He bit the tail off my jig. And I threw in with that wacky worm. He, he immediately hit it. I know he's 12, but. <laughs> We're working on that small limit. But we all working on something, so that's better than nothing. Let me back up some. Just on that little stick over there. Might be a couple of them over there. I 
right, guys, I see a lot of shad just jumping up around in here. It's real shadow in here. I'm in like three and a half feet of water right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back here with that, but they jumping up all around these points. Someone's even in the middle here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he come off. I didn't get a good hook set on it. God damn it. Got this half inch and half inch. <laughs> this half ounce uh, rattle trap right here. I didn't get a good hook set on him. I might have to go to the smaller uh, rattle trap because those bait fish are real small that day. trying to eat yeah I'm gonna try to go down one size in this rattle trap here I don't have the white one that I'm looking for I got it but yeah, let me find it. I know where it's at. Okay, I found my little quart ounce white rattle trap that I was looking for. See, they out there on that chasing shad there. Guys, I'm just looking for the shad that's jumping around. Nine times out of ten, there's some fish chasing them. And with these panoptics, I can uh, scan the water from me. I'm only in three foot of water, but I can see a little bit. Ooh, I don't know if that's something, because it's right there. A lot of times when you're throwing this rattle trap, especially the small one, if you feel them bump it, kind of give a little bit to let the fish go ahead and get the bait, because sometimes you'll, well, a lot of times you'll pull it away from it. See, right there. There you go. Ooh, yes. Right there in that same spot that I kept getting that bump. Come on, fish. Slow down. See, that's a large mouth. That's the limit. I know I should have been putting coal rings on them, but I don't have my coal rings. I bought some new ones, but they hadn't got here yet. And I have let that fish just basically eat the bait. And he was biting at the same spot. Like I said, these fish just running around in here. It's got to be definitely a lot of bait in here. And they just trying to run them up against the shadowest part in here, I guess, is this bank right here. I seen one or two jump over here by that pole. Guys, we don't want to burn up half a day in here, but. make sure we fish this thoroughly just to make sure it ain't no big one sticking off in the corner somewhere turn this hydro wave off because I'm torn about this hydro wave I don't know if 
to me it doesn't it runs the fish away to tell you the truth every time I've used it those fish well the bait fish anyway run away when I turn that on they could be schooling and carrying on the next day you know I turn that on they stop you know that is the old one maybe I need the new one Ooh, that was the bottom Not a large mouth. It's got to be 14 inches. Don't fall back in the water. He's 13. Well, that's why I didn't want to go too far. I want to throw this shake head in there. And this just a. Uh, I believe this is a motor oil. No, that's just a watermelon seed. I need to dye the tail, but hadn't had, well, I had time, but hadn't did it. But that didn't take long. All right, guys, I just caught a small one. It was a large mouth, so I throw him back. He wasn't even probably 12 inches, so. We, uh, I just came out to some main lake type banks looking for some bigger fish and like i said we just caught that small one so i don't know if this is the deal or not i might have to go find me a point and start hitting some points with some uh with a carolina rig or something a little deeper They keep biting the tail off of my off my chatterbait. I just changed that because that little one bit the tail off of it. Now this one bit the tail off of it. But they can bite them all. Every one I got, they can bite the tail off of if I can catch them. Some more super glue. That one even have time to set up. It ain't had but two pet two throws on it. Alright guys, I'm still in the search for bigger fish. Uh, the wind's been getting higher and higher here. And it's blowing down in this little, little cove off, right off the main lake here. I just caught a little small one. And I'm just trying to see if there's some bigger fish in here because that wind is blowing those bait fish in this little hole. I've seen couple of them bust on top of the water here it just I don't know like I said it's just a wide area and I'm just trying to stay on the trolling motor stay in this one spot and throw around and around and around just fan casting just to see if they just hanging out right here cause the winds blowing in on this little ones but there you go a little small one ah it's a hybrid all this good for is getting a, a hook in your hand calm down 
calm down. You're not going to get me today. Like I said, I need that spot lock. So I can stay at one spot. Anybody want to donate a spot lock, I'll show sure take it. Guys, I just lost a good one. I had him all the way to the boat, but he come off right here at the boat. I'm doing a Tex Rig uh, Lizard. And I didn't even feel him bite it. He had it, and I just reeling in and felt tension on it. Didn't get a good hook set on him. <laughs> I be dang. get rid of the small one I got. He swallowed that. God damn it. I'm going to have to let him have it, but he's got to go with me. that large mouth that I don't think it's, it's two over there it's three over there let me get off that put some G juice in there sideways hopefully that'll help them it is kind of warm and I don't have any ice with me I like to bend these hooks out just a little bit Give it an outward angle so it comes through the plastic easier. Get back in there. All right, guys. It's all over. This is the last cast. And, um, you know, at least we got a limit. We caught some fish today. So we're going to go in and weigh them in and see what happens. Uh, the weather's, the wind is getting high again. I think that other part of that storm is coming in. So we're going to go put it on the trailer and call it a day. I'll meet you guys at the ramp. Get him out. I where the line start at? Right here. Big Mike, come on over here, man. Come on, big dog. 
more fish. Yeah, yeah right. I just more water than fish. Oh, my what's going on? Ain't no shame in getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> Both 57 coming to the scale, right? Both 57. Five fish, sir. Five fish, both in seven. Sixty-seven. Nine ninety. Nine ninety. Nine ninety. Nine ninety. I forgot my number That's in the a, truck. Yo. Uh oh. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. You don't count. Don't. Count, don't it, it, it ain't gonna count, count anyway. Both <laughs> sixty-seven. Coming to the scale. <laughs> uh oh, he's trying to jump out again. Hey, that's that G juice, baby. Keep him in it. I had it during that too. What's going on, man? I'm in it. I'm in it. 687. Do you have five? Five line. 687. All right, sir. I got you. I saw it. I see it. How many fish you got? Five. Five fish. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, close that five, man. Thank you, sir.